Well, this episode we're going into the uh, end world um, and uh, show you what the new changes are. So um, I've switched back to um, survival on easy just so that we've got the various uh, mobs around um, just to see uh, how we can kind of help ourselves using the turtles. So first job, as soon as I've hit done, uh, is to stop the silverfish from coming at me. So we will first of all block. Ah, typical. So I know that that um, spawner there is three blocks up and six from uh, this gate. So I'm going to send a turtle in there to uh, go and destroy it. So let's put the turtle on there. Just a straightforward command, forward, uh, let's make it, oh I don't actually, it may not destroy the, yes it will do, yeah, forward, let's go seven, dig, uh, we can keep our fingers crossed, yep, it's destroyed it, and uh, we'll refuel it, uh, use lava refuel, which side has more lava? Uh, right. So it's going to actually use all of that lava to refuel itself. So this lava refuel is part of the toolkit which uh, if you use the base bin, um, one that gets the tools, it will pick them all up, including the, the, the entire toolkit. Okay, let's go. Right, so Dragon Tower over there. Uh, I, I have done this on a previous video, so I won't bore you with uh, getting across to there. Um, but once we're over the other side, then there's some major changes. So uh, let me just uh, pause for a second. Okay, so I've built the little bridge, same as I did on the older video. Now the difference is that we're now going to burrow under the dragon's territory. Now you'll notice from the coordinates up here on the map on the left that we're already on uh, the Z axis of zero. We want to actually be on naught comma whatever comma naught. So we're going to go in uh, 77 uh, blocks to get to naught naught. So we can use the uh, a tunneling device here so we'll go to five and then we want a two block high tunnel and then we want 77 did i say let's try 77 and uh, we don't need any stone because there's going to be don't need any torches so we'll go and that's now going to burrow in underneath all the columns so we're here and we're heading this way. So we want to get to this bit here, which is where the um, dragon sits after it has uh, gone round the columns. It comes and sits here for a couple of seconds or every so often. <clears throat> and that's the vulnerability that we're going to make use of. So our first job is to get in and uh, create a series of tunnels that will allow us to go underground into the centres of each of those uh, columns. So, so I'm at minus one naught, 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 there it is. So that's the point that I need to, to be on, or, or at least that I need to place my uh, turtle on. Let's uh, put him in place. There we are, so it's on naught, naught, and as we walk up and down here, you'll notice we're staying on the z, I think it's z, axis is, is naught here. So this is a new routine that we're now going to 
used. So um, it comes under section four, Obsidian Never and End Portal. I've changed that now. So it's got some stuff in here. Now, so far, the we only had these first three. I've now got these others. We've got Undermine Dragon Towers, Deactivate Dragon Tower, Build a Dragon Attack Area, and Attack the Dragon. And then there's even a, um, a minecart station you can build around all the little mini portals so that you can ram your way through without needing uh, ender pearls to get in. You can also use a boat, which I discovered the other day. I wasn't aware of that. But uh, uh, So we're now going to undermine the dragon towers. So we press um, 4, and it says, place me on the ground at 0, 0, whatever Y is, uh, 0, centre of the dragon arena, facing west. Important double check position and direction. So we must face west, and we must be on zero zero so let's escape that and we'll do f3 and we are let me see facing west yep that's great and uh, obviously we're standing slightly away from the turtle but uh, we know that that's on um zero zero if we move forward then we're there so that's okay everything is as it should be. Enter to continue. Then we need to add some cobblestone. Now this is quite specific. You can use a cobble or cobble deep slate as long as it's um, got the word cobble in it because that's going to be used to, to mark the path. So what it's doing now is it's replacing the path that we created as we came through with cobble and it's heading for the next tower. If you see the mini-map on the top left corner there, as we move forward, we're heading towards that next tower. Okay, so it's now reached the um, obsidian column, and we're burrowing underneath it. Uh, you can see from the fact that the walls here are uneven, that we're actually kind of on a corner of the column. We're not in the centre. So this is where it actually now starts to work out. Where is it? So it's measured the distance across here. And it's now taken a, a side branch up there based on half the width of there to there. It's gone up to the end, returning, and uh, it will now mark the center of the obsidian column here and in order to get up and destroy the uh, crystal you place the turtle facing this block but we're going to wait for it to complete the um, going around all the towers so the second turtle to demonstrate how it's going to destroy the tower so it's a bit risky but we'll give it a go so full kick as usual uh, then we're going on the Again, the obsidian nether and end portal and this time we're going to deactivate dragon tower um, place me in the ceiling pit in the center of the obsidian tower facing the end stone block this maximizes success without being destroyed so there we are we're in the center of the tower because that's already been previously marked we're facing the block we're ready to go and um, what i'll do is to switch to spectator mode as soon as i hit enter so we can kind of watch and see whether it succeeds or not so uh, escape spectator there we go and we can now follow all right so it's coming up the tower now this is where the danger is that this um, beam that the dragon attaches to the tops of the towers can destroy the turtle. So I'm hoping that that won't happen. It may have already happened. Let me just. Oh no, I can still hear it. So hopefully it's going to pop up. I'm not sure whether the dragon is attracted to the player when in spectator mode. Hopefully not. There he comes. 
and it's destroyed the crystal. And as it's uh, destroyed, it's now heading back down. So we're one down. Uh, that was a success. So I've managed to pick up all the uh, here and dug uh, up at roughly the zero zero location. So I'm directly under the bedrock where the dragon comes down and sits on this sort of centre bit. So I've cleared it out all the way around, but I'm protected pretty much um, from attack. So um, I'll call it a day for this session and then next time down we're going to um, use the turtle to build a shelter around this potential portal um, and then to attack the, the dragon from underneath while we're protected by it. The stage is to build a uh, shield around the tower. So let's organize. You can plant this anywhere under this um, thing here. And then again on the number four, we now want to build the dragon attack area, which is number six. So we'll choose that. This can be any stone, we might as well use end stone. And that's it. So it's now searching to find a corner of the tower by just checking where it is. And once it's where it is, it will start to go up and build. Now again, to get a better look at this, I'm going to switch over to creative. So that we can see what's going on. Oh, that's it. Right, so we've now got the dragon flying around. All of his crystals are destroyed. He's chucking lumps of poison or whatever. And the turtle here is building this surrounding wall. As you can see, it sits on top of the column there. So we're going to take advantage of that. Right, it's now sat in front of this column. It's attacking up and down. So, as you can see, the Ender Dragon's health bar is already reduced. So we'll go into um, spectator mode, so we can kind of see what's happening. So every so often the, the dragon will land on top. As you can hear, even from that distance, the turtles are attacking it quite, uh, quite severely. Now they're not even armed with swords. If I had wanted to make set of four diamond swords and put them in the turtles, that would have started bashing at it even more. I should now build a, um, a covered walkway and I'll do the same on this side with the, uh, with the other turtles. So we're building a, a really nice safe exit and uh, entrance for ourselves here. So, okay, okay. And then canal bridge, uh, covered walkway, length 23, and then again we need the stone in. Have I forgotten something? Oh, torch, yeah. there we go. So what we'll do now is to manually fill in the ceiling. Turtle assistants here are building the sides as well.
here it's nice to be able to work with the uh, turtles and sort of in a partnership with them so that uh, there we go let's make it look nice and neat right so we've now got a safe entrance and uh, exit So let's just do the same on this uh, platform. Bit of feeling. Good, so we're nice and safe inside our uh, portal. Now you'll notice the coordinates here is 149.0. Apparently the 100x uh, and the 0z are always the coordinates you end up on. I'm not sure about why, whether that's always 49. In fact, looking at the video, it does say, so this um, 149 is a standard uh, for all C's, so which is which is kind of handy to know. Uh, so that what we can do is to um, build up from this coordinate uh, 145 blocks into the uh, sea, uh, into the air, and then head that way back to zero zero, and then drop uh, a water block on top of an obsidian block to create the water trap. So I've just got to write the code for that and uh, we'll get that underway. So I built this tower in creative mode from the uh, spawn platform once you get through here. Uh, just as a kind of a proof of concept. So what I want to do is to program the turtle to build this uh, column consisting of these series of cubes here. The first one is a um, bubble lift with the sole sand at the bottom and the second one is just a straightforward column all protected with uh, end stone so that while the player is inside. The alternative was to have just a single one of these with 145 ladders in but that seemed quite a lot, but maybe, maybe I'll I'll do that. But anyway, let, let's just drop down here to show you how the thing works. So this is where you materialise here, and then I've built this is to in order to, for the turtle to to build up the bubble lift here, and then when it's finished, that then becomes the water dr that you drop into. So you would climb up. And then be taken to the top, which of course eventually will be right up there. And then to get back down again, you just simply jump down there. So that, as I say, I might do that as a ladder, but I just wanted to prove whether this was going to work or not. Now, once we reach the top, at the moment I've just got a single um, pathway, which is 140. 45 blocks high as the uh, YouTube video showed. Um, I think that's going to be okay because uh, I noted as we're going along here that um, the water that has been dropped below uh, as the dragon is fighting it tends to be throwing its magic downwards so I suspect I would be safe in um, in survival mode um, so the next thing to do is to alter the turtle attack thing which is here so that it attacks forwards only and doesn't rotate the turtle so let's just do that so here's the uh, attack function so at the moment uh, it attacks up and down so let's we don't need to attack up necessarily well, actually that wouldn't do any harm but what we don't want to do is to turn 
right so we don't want a turtle turn right uh, in fact what might be useful is to attack up and down yep okay so let's copy that and then we'll go attack down and we'll also have another one of these to keep account so we'll click call that one hit d for down and then if the attack down occurs then we can add so we'll need another one here okay so we've got a total hits down total hits down down plus one uh, we're just going to put the total there maybe yes we need to hit D so F print okay we need or hit D up and then we want um, Comma down total hits D. There it is. Right, let's just check that. So hits forward, it's F up, U down, D, F, D, U. Right, so that's changed the attack function so it doesn't rotate anymore. Save that. Back to the game and let's activate that. So, TK for attack dragon. Right. Okay, you can see the dragon is being beaten thoroughly. Let's just check how many hits it's getting. Forward zero, forward one. It seems to be being hit in all directions. So yeah, it was definitely worth doing all of them. And it's just about, there we go, it's gone. So we can now head back down and come in um, creative mode. So it won't make a huge amount of difference, but um, and there's all the, oh, let me just switch it quickly back to uh, survival mode. That's lovely. And we can pick up all the XP flying around here. Right, so that proof of concept is working uh, and is far more successful than this kind of thing down here. As you can see this has now opened the portal so the shelter is still kind of round it which is which is okay so that can be adjusted later so I will get back to programming and we'll make it build uh, the full height column I'm thinking about it as you're only going to need this once I think Possibly just remembering to bring enough ladders or enough wood to make ladders would probably be the best uh, way of doing it. It saves on resources, saves on time. So, yep, I'm going to do it with ladders rather than a, a bubble lift. So. Right, uh, just a bit of a postscript to the end of this video is I went back up to see where exactly everything was and of course I've realized that the dragon egg it, which is left behind is stuck up here so I just wanted to show you how you can actually use the turtle to to get it so it's one two three four five six uh, seven blocks forward there so if we right click on the turtle 
and stop it from doing its hits. And then we're going to go forward 7D, which is short for dig, and that will go and it will pick up the dragon egg. So it's actually inside the turtle. So you can now um, send the turtle down or take it down, whatever you want, and uh, it'll be safe. So let's play it safe. And if we stand on, I know I'm in creative mode, but if you're in survival, you can stand on top of the so let's, let's give that a go. So we can uh, land on it. So uh, survival, there we go. And then we want to rotate this twice. Right, two. Okay, now it's either going to carry us with it or it'll drop us off and we'll, we'll be standing on. Uh, what will we be standing on? Oh, we'll be standing on obsidian, so there's no problem there. So let's um, make it go forward. Uh, this was a hundred times. Yeah, I think so. Let's make it 99. This is carrying us with us, so that's quite handy. We're getting a lift. Oh dear, we've come out further than I expected. Not quite sure where that was, so we'll do the same as before. We'll turn ourselves right to, and we'll go forward. I'm guessing about five. Whoops. Ouch. Oh well. <laughs>